the Isabids were an Australian rock band. They formed in Sydney in late 1964 and disbanded at the end of 1969. They are regarded as the greatest Australian pop band of the 1960s, echoing the Beatles' success in Britain, and were the first Australian rock and roll act to score an international pop hit with their 1966 single Friday on My Mind. The band's lineup exemplified the influence of post war migration on Australian society. All five founding members were from families who had migrated to Australia from Europe, lead singer Stevie Wright and drummer Gordon Snowy Fleet were from England. Rhythm guitarist George Young was from Scotland. Lead guitarist Uri Vander and bassist Dick Diamond were from the Netherlands. History equals Early career equals, the band formed at the Villawood Migrant Hostel and the band members' families spent their first years in Australia housed at the Villawood Migrant Hostel in the early and mid-60s. Beginning their career in Sydney at the little-known teen hangout, Beetle Village, in the basement of a pub at Taylor Square on Oxford Street. Darling West, in late 1964, the band was inspired by the British invasion spearheaded by the Beatles. They quickly rose to become one of the most popular groups in the city. Real estate agent turned pop manager Mike Vaughan took over as their manager and through his efforts they were signed to a production contract with Albert Productions, one of Australia's first independent record production companies. It was established by Ted Albert, whose family owned J. Albert and Sons one of Australia's oldest and largest music publishing companies. Albert then signed the band to a recording contract with Emmy's Parlophone label, and they began a meteoric rise to national stardom. By the end of 1965 they were the most popular and successful pop band in Australia, and their concerts and public appearances were regularly marked by intense fan hysteria which was very similar to Beatlemania and which was soon dubbed DC Fever. Equals rise to success equals during 1965 and early 1966, they released a string of hit singles, all co-written by Young and Wright, including For My Woman, She's So Fine, Wedding Ring, Sad and Lonely and Blue, Women, Come and See Her, I'll Make You Happy, and Sorry, all produced by Ted Albert. In addition, the Wright Young songwriting team wrote a number of hits for other artists, including Step Back, which became a number one hit for Johnny Young in 1966. In early 1966, while the group was still touring Australia, their manager, Mike Vaughan, flew to New York to attempt to secure an American recording contract for the band. After initial lack of interest, on the last scheduled day of his visit Vaughan was able to convince United Artists Records to sign the ESA Beats. Ten days of negotiations resulted in a groundbreaking five-year contract for overseas releases. Just before relocating to London in 1966, they recorded a farewell TV show, the Coca-Cola Special, regarded as one of the prime artefacts of 60s Australian pop TV. The group left for the UK on July 10, 1966. They briefly stopped over in Perth, Western Australia but a planned farewell performance on a temporary stage set up on the tarmac at Perth Airport had to be cancelled amid chaotic scenes with 4,000 fans breaking through barriers and storming the runway. A bomb threat then forced the group to evacuate the plane, and they had to be smuggled out the emergency exit into a catering van and driven to the end of the runway, where they hid for half an hour until they were able to rejoin the plane. Equals London, 1966-1969 equals. After arriving in London the band recorded a number of songs with Ted Albert at Emmys Abbey Road Studios but these were deemed unsuitable by UA and Albert was removed as producer. The band were then teamed with freelance producer Shel Tami, who had achieved great success with his production for The Who and The Kinks. One of the tracks they recorded with Tami became their first big international hit, Friday On My Mind. It made number one in Australia, number six in the UK, number 16 in the US, and the top ten in Germany, the Netherlands, France and Italy eventually selling over one million copies worldwide, and being awarded a gold disc. In 1973 David Bowie covered the song on his pin-ups album, and in 1977 the punk band London introduced the song to a new generation on a four-track EP for MCA Records. The London version, produced by Simon Napier Bell, was recorded in the same studio in which the Isabeats had cut the original. 
equals Van der Young Songwriting Partnership equals, the song also marked the end of the Wright Young Partnership. With Dutch-born Vanden now having a stronger grasp of English, he replaced Wright as Young's songwriting partner from this point on. The group toured Europe and the United States with the Rolling Stones, during which time they appeared on the German pop TV show Beat Club. After a triumphant homecoming tour of Australia in mid-1967, original drummer Snowy Fleet left the band, unhappy at the amount of time he had to spend away from his wife and young children. After extensive auditions in London he was replaced by Tony Cahill, formerly of the Purple Hearts, but in the interim several recordings were cut with a session drummer, Glaswegian Freddie Smith. The group spent the remainder of their career based in London. Two of their songs, Bring a Little Love In, and Come In, You'll Get Pneumonia, were covered by Los Bravos and Paul Revere and the Raiders, respectively. Good Times, and Falling Off the Edge of the World were minor hits in the United States and the latter was reputedly a favor. However their career soon stalled due to poor management, problems with radio airplay and lack of record company support. A 1967 album intended as the follow-up to the success of Friday on My Mind, produced by Glenn Johns, was recorded and prepared for issue but was never released because of the band's complicated financial and contractual problems. One of the songs recorded for the LP, Good Times was released as a single. When broadcast on BBC Radio it was reputedly heard by Paul McCartney on his car radio. McCartney apparently rang the station immediately to request a repeat playing. The song featured Steve Marriott of the Small Faces on backing vocals and Nicky Hopkins on piano. A cover version of Good Times by INXS and Jimmy Barnes became a number 47 hit in USA after being featured on the soundtrack of the film The Lost Boys in 1987 and a number 2 in Australia as well the previous year, becoming the biggest selling single on Mushroom Records. Equals Decline and Breakup Equals, through late 1968, the formerly tight-knit band began to drift apart. Drugs were a factor. But the growing independence of the Van der Young team as a creative unit was also a major catalyst. By this time the duo were working substantially on their own, and between them they could now play almost any instrument needed for recordings and had become skilled in engineering and producing their own recordings. They wrote prolifically, but many of their songs from this period remained unreleased for many years. They were also reluctant to do more than a few gigs per month and so the band only came together for occasional performances or for demo sessions at Central Sound Studios in Denmark Street. Their last official LP vigil was released in June 1968 in the UK and it was issued in an altered form in Australia and in USA in October, retitled Falling Off the Edge of the World. In early 1969, Vanda and Young took over a flat in Moscow Road, London which had previously been used as a jingle studio for pirate radio stations. With modifications, it became a four-track home studio and Vanda and Young began producing demos, working mostly on their own. The only official recordings they made was The Rocking St. Louis, and the B-side Can't Find Love, recorded in April at Olympic Studios with Ray Singer, a former member of UK band Nirvana, who had made a name for himself as a producer with Peter Sastitz. Where Do You Go To? The single was issued in June in the UK and US, and began to chart there during their final tour later in the year. In August St. Louis was released in Australia, along with a new album released on Polida. Friends was in fact not a real Issa Beats album a Euro the only true Issa Beats tracks being St. Louis, and Rock and Roll Boogie. The bulk of the tracks were Van der Young Moscow Road recordings, intended as demos for other artists. The album was also issued in the UK in October, and in USA in November on the Rare Earth label. In September the band undertook a short European tour and then reluctantly accepted the offer of a five-week Australian tour. The group were worn out, disillusioned, and at odds with their management. They reportedly viewed the tour as a last-ditch attempt to bail the group out of its mounting pool of debts. Again they were the victims of bad timing having reverted to no-frills hard rock, while the Australian pop scene was preoccupied with progressive rock, soul and bubblegum pop. The situation was further complicated by Parlophone's unwelcome release of the psychedelic 1967 song Peculiar Hole in the Sky as a single, presumably to cash in on the tour. 
regardless of its merits as a song, it was released against the band's wishes, since it had been made purely as a demo for the Valentines. In October the band made a valedictory TV appearance in the ATN7 Isabid special, then gave their final Sydney performances at the Trocadero and Caesars Disco. Once the tour was over, the Isabids drifted apart, although there was no official announcement of the split. After a final gathering for Dick Diamond's wedding in early 1970, they went their separate ways. The original lineup reunited for a warmly received series of Australian concerts in 1986. The 2000s saw a band calling itself the Issa Beats Tour and make TV appearances around Europe. No members were in any lineup of the Australian band or played on any of the records, despite the lead singer using a similar name. Vanda and Young, Vanda and Young remained in the UK for three years, working to pay off debts incurred during the Issa Beats years. They returned to Australia in 1973 and reunited with Ted Albert and became the house producers for his new Albert Productions record label, writing for and or producing many chart-topping acts including Stevie Wright, Rose Tattoo, Cheetah, and The Angels. They wrote and produced several major hits for John Paul Young including Lovers in the Air, and Yesterday's Hero, which was also a hit for Bay City Rollers, and produced the first six albums for ACDC. Vanda and Young also recorded several Australian hit singles under the pseudonym Flash in the Pan, including Hey St. Peter, and Down Among the Dead Men. They had even more success in Europe with hits such as Waiting for a Train, Midnight Man, Early Morning Wake Up Call, and Ella, from their number one albums Early Morning Wake Up Call, Headlines, and Nights in France. Singer-model-actress Grace Jones also recorded a successful cover version of their song Walking in the Rain. Stevie Wright. Stevie Wright went on to become a cast member of the original Australian stage production of Jesus Christ Superstar and then launched a successful but short lived solo career with the hit single Evie, and the album Hard Road in 1974, which reunited him with Vanda and Young, who produced the records and wrote many of the songs, including Evie, an ambitious three part suite split over two sides of a single. In later years Wright suffered debilitating drug and alcohol problems which were further exacerbated by his self-admission to the notorious Chelmsford Private Hospital in Sydney. Its director, Dr. Harry Bailey, administered a highly controversial treatment known as deep sleep therapy, which allegedly cured drug addiction with a combination of drug-induced coma and electroshock. Many patients, including Wright, suffered brain damage and lifelong after-effects, while others died as a result of the treatments. Stevie's substance abuse problem spiraled out of control in the 1980s and 1990s and he came close to death on several occasions, but was pulled back from the brink by his current partner, Bay. In 1999 journalist Jack Marks published a much-anticipated book about Wright, entitled Sorry, The Wretched Tale of Little Stevie Wright. It was critically applauded by some reviewers. Australian music historian Clinton Walker calling it gonzo journalism at its best, while the bulletin later referred to Sorry as one of the most harrowing rock books ever written. Nevertheless, Sorry earned the disdain of his subject, writes many fans and other critics. Internet reviewer Ken Grady described Marx as a self-serving hypocrite, and concluded his review by observing, the only thing that Marx has achieved is to depict himself as a very unlikable, morally bankrupt leech. By 2002, Wright was well enough to perform as part of the all-star Long Way to the Top National Concert Tour. His autobiography, Hard Road, was published in 2004. On January 31, 2009, Wright closed the Legends of Rock Festival in Byron Bay, Australia. Snowy Fleet, Tony Cahill and Dick Diamond, original drummer Snowy Fleet became a successful builder in Perth, Western Australia and now runs a rehearsal studio based in Jandicott, Western Australia. His replacement, Tony Cahill, remained in the UK for a time, briefly joining the final studio lineup of Python Lee Jackson as a bassist, before moving to the United States. Cahill died in Sydney on August 13, 2014, as the result of a brain tumour. Bassist Dick Diamond moved to the New South Wales North Coast and retired from performing, after some years of singing and playing in local pubs. Popular culture, 
In 1998 Australia Post issued a special edition set of 12 stamps celebrating the early years of Australian rock a Euro na Euro unregistered trademark role, featuring Australian hit songs of the late 50s, the 60s and the early 70s. Each of them said something about us, and told the rest of the world this is what popular culture sounds like, and it has an Australian accent. One of the stamps featured was the She's So Fine stamp. Australian rock duo Divinals recorded a cover of I'll Make You Happy on the B-side of the single Science Fiction in 1982 which later appeared on the album Desperate. However, since the vocalist was a female, the lyrics If you don't think I'm your man, find somebody if you can, and ask them to hold your hand, not me, were changed to If you don't want to be my man, pass the bottle in the empty cans, I just want to hold your hand, just me. In 1982, Los Angeles, California's The Three O'Clock released a version of Sorry on their Baroque Her Down EP on Frontier Records. In 1993, New Jersey mod Pow Poppers The Insomniacs released a version of Going Out of My Mind on their German-only four-song EP. For Outer Limits Records. In 2007, Stevie Wright performed at the Gathering Festival in Yandina, Sunshine Coast. In 2011, Punk rock cover band Me First and the Gimme Gimme's released a version of Friday on My Mind on their Australian themed 7, Go Down Under. In 2014, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band covered Friday on My Mind on their tour of Australia. Discography. Equals albums equals. Equals charting singles equals. Audio samples. References. External links. The Isa Beats discography at Music Brian's. Melezago, the Issa Beats.